Little pupper, what's up? You're the intro to the video again. Just like you always are. Oh, you're looking so cute. Come here. Oh, why are you? You're acting all mellow for the camera. Usually, off camera, you're crazy. But now, when the camera comes on, you just act all chill and mellow. You're trying to fake out the viewers. Oh, that's a good little girl. That's a good girl. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another one. Hope you guys are enjoying your quarantine. Uh, I know I'm getting a little bit bored, and I'm like, yo, I need to give my viewers something new to watch. We've been pounding the walleyes lately, and it's starting to get a little bit warmer. The walleye should start biting here really soon. But I was like, hey, let's do something a little bit different. Let's go down to this local pond over here and see if we can catch some trout. I haven't done a trout catch and cook in a long time, personally. I think the last time I did it was when I was with Sam, like in the winter, and that was ice fishing. So we're gonna do that, and a little bit of a plot to us. I'm actually going to cook it in the back of my truck. So I'm going to pull up to the place. Hopefully I'm going to catch a few trout there. And then as soon as I catch, I'm going to walk back up to my truck, get everything set up and start cooking it out of the back of my truck, guys. Yes, out of the back of my truck. As you can see, uh, there, there's still some snow here. It is April and there's snow. What's up with that strap? The taco was looking all succulent. Got a little bit of snow on there. But I actually needed to come over here because this guy has uh, my ice fishing rods. And Sam said if I go to the docks there and just jig with my ice fishing stuff, I should catch some. We're actually you're just gonna open this bad boy up get that snow off of here i didn't think i was gonna touch my ice fishing rods again this year but i guess i am all right my baits are in there all right best part gonna flex on you guys a little bit Got the old auto set on there, boys. Oh, goodness gracious. Why do we have snow in April? It looks like I got everything ready to go. Uh, quick intro for you guys. I know I like to usually talk a lot, but this is a short, sweet, and simple one. I'm gonna drive on over the pond, and I'll see you guys there. We made her on over to the pond here and it's a gorgeous day outside. It ended up starting to kind of cold in the morning, but as the sun kind of came out, it started to warm up a little bit. It's probably about 40 degrees. Got my nice Guggen Squad merch on to keep me nice and warm and looking fresh. But the pond's just giving her a dangle over there. I do not fish for trout usually. I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, I sometimes I go in Alaska and do some fly fishing, but I think it's a little too early for that. What I'm gonna do is I brought my ice fishing stuff as you guys saw, just gonna rig up, walk on over the dock and see if I can make it happen. Doing some vertical jigging. Sam said if you use a tungsten and a plastic, that is the go-to setup. So we're gonna go over there. Hopefully catch some trout for you guys. This is weird, getting out some ice fishing stuff. Well, right now, I'm rigging up a ice fishing rod in April. Never thought I would say that. Just gonna be using this dragon frost, just gonna be using this little dragonfly from Frostbite. My go-to ice fishing stuff. Got our little tungsten jig right here. I think this is like a 16th ounce or something like that. Sure, that looks like it'll slay. Yeah. There we go. We are ready to go. Got all the essentials, got the camera gear, got a few extra tackle stuff. Got my ice fishing rod. I should have brought my long rod, dude. I bet these bass are, well, it's really clear right now. There's no way they're starting to bed yet, but when they bed here, there's some absolute giants here. And I mean like freaking mondos. So in the spring, I'm definitely gonna have to come back here with the mondo optics and see if I can clap some 10 pounders at the old nature park quiet on these docks here. I know it's actually really deep over here. Sam and I ice fished over here. It's like 13, 14, 15 feet right here. All right, let's see if we can give her the old Canadian two-step here. All right, homies, first drop of the day going down. We're gonna drop to the bottom here. And then once we're on the bottom, I'm just gonna kind of slowly work my way up in the water column. This is basically ice fishing without a vex. It's tough, man. I'll be honest, it's pretty tough. But I'm on bottom right now. I'm just gonna pound bottom just like that. So I don't really know what I'm doing out here. I mean, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing out here. I'm with the ice fishing rod, but if you guys are actually trout fishing experts, drop a comment down below and give me some tips. Help your boy out. I wanna become a good angler, not only at bass and walleye, I wanna become good at everything. So I need your guys' help. Please, please, please help me out down in the comments down below. Baby, lock them doors and turn the lights down low. 
Put some music on that's soft and slow. Baby, we ain't got no place to go. I hope you understand. I've been thinking about this all day long. Boys, I'm Cheeks. I can't even catch a trout at the local kids' pond. WTH. All right, we're making a cast here. Casting with an ice rod. Nice. Crappie, no way, no way. A crappie just came and smoked me. <gasps> no! God dang it! Oh, I just had a decent crappie on. No, oh, you hate to see that. Probably like a seven inch crappie on. No, oh my goodness. I was working that thing fast as heck and I actually saw that thing eat me. It ate me like right there. I saw it just poof. Ah, <sighs> that got the blood going, not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, you guys are not gonna believe what I found. Someone left some corn on here, first of all. Shame on you for leaving trash out here. But thank you because there's a few bit of kernels left. So I'm actually gonna take a few of these, put it on my rod and try a different technique. So new technique, I actually just tipped this with some corn. As you guys can see, I got two kernels of kern on there just like that. We're gonna do a little bit of dead sticking since I can't catch anything jigging. So we are just gonna send this off the dock right here. We're gonna drop this down to the bottom, then just reel up like a couple inches or so. So we're on bottom. I'm just going to give it one crank or so. Take my camera and put it right on top of there. So if I get a bite, it doesn't go flying. That's the new strat, dead stick and corn. I love it. I'm channeling my inner flare using the corn. Flare, if I catch a fish on this, it was all thanks to you. Two hours later. Well, 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 look what the cat drug in. Bro, it's cold out here. Why the sun went away here? and it got cold, not gonna lie. Bro, I'm gonna go back home, curl up in my bed again. All right, are you gonna catch a freaking thing for me here? <laughs> you need to catch a bass, you need to catch something for me. I got a lipless, that's all I brought. Oh yeah, I heard that's great for the, the trout around here. The trout here. love the lipless, bro. Oh, okay. Ice fishing, vertical jig that beat. All right, well, a little update, Sam is here. Um, I thought he was gonna bring some minnows and stuff to like legit try hard fish at trout. Out, but oh, no, didn't he didn't. He actually didn't. So this kid, no clue what he's thinking. But Sam's here. Hopefully, catch some fish. Uh, I'm getting a little bit hungry. I need a snack in my mouth right now. So Sam. Oh, bro. What? Oh, I'm getting bit. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh no way. Oh no, what happened? No. You're getting bites, so, bro. That was. Was I actually getting bites? Yeah. Of right course. Here. Oh. Wow. As soon as you, as soon as you yeah. get here. What? Are you being serious right now? <laughs> Little boy. I'm pissed, dude. Literally. I was here for like an hour, two hours grinding. Sam shows up and catches a fish on my freaking rod that's been sitting in the water with the corn. Well, honestly, I, wow, that one looks pretty, dude. Yeah, Pull nice it up one. for me. It's a nice, beautiful trout there. Oh my goodness, that looks pretty. Besides, yeah, minus you, but like that looks pretty. That's a nice keeper right there, little son. He'll eat up just fine for you. Well, I guess Sam's the good luck. He shows up and within two seconds catches a fish. Okie dokes, folks. It's getting kind of cold out here. Me and Sam are like, uh-uh, we're getting out of here. We're getting home so we can play some more war zone. But Sam came out here, slapped this nice little trout here. So we're gonna go back to my truck, cut this bad boy open and start eating it. Sam, you staying for the cooking part? Sam's gonna sit in his car. I'm gonna chef this up and we're gonna have a nice little tasty meal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I came over here and I'm like, what the Sam hell? I brought propane right here. I forgot my little burner. So uh, my my big dumb idiotness, we are gonna have to go home, but we're still gonna cook this in my car. I just, I gotta do it at home. So I'll see you guys at home. Daisy, what is this? Huh? What's, hey, did you try? Did you just try to eat that? What, just, just sniff it, just sniff No, well, you are, just sniff it. You're definitely gonna try to eat this. Look at that. What do you think of that? Huh? What do you think of that, Daisy? Good girl. Okay, yeah, you're gonna eat that. All right, we made her on back to the house because I forgot my propane stove. That's a botch, guys. If you're gonna cook anything, you kinda need a stove. Got the lovely, beautiful rainbow trout that Sam caught in two seconds, and I was there for like two hours and didn't get a single bite. I am gonna clean this guy off camera because cleaning trout can get a little bit graphic, so I don't want YouTube to, you know, kachow me. They already hate us enough. So I'm gonna clean this guy, I'll see you guys in one second. Alrighty, folks, this is the finished product right there. This is just that rainbow trout that we just had. I chopped off the tail, chopped off the head, 
and then took all the guts out. But look at that meat in there. That looks really, really tasty. So this guy on the, the cooler for a second. Then come over here. Got a little propane burner like that. Put the pan on top. Well, we should start this first probably. Huh? All right, here we go. Oh gosh, yeah. Put this pan on top. That's probably as stable as she's gonna get right there. This burner's super nice. I mean, this is super, super convenient. You just carry around a pan in your backpack. And then this little butane burner. This is the attachment that you get. And then you can go to Walmart and get these big tubes or whatever. And they actually come smaller on this as well. So super, super compact. I like that a lot. I can easily store it in my deck system right here. By the way, if you guys want one of these deck systems, I will leave it linked down below. Super handy. And I love storing all my stuff inside of there. All right. Then we come over to our fridge here. Knock the excess off. We're just going to, I don't know if this is not that warm yet oh god oh god almost started something on fire here boys second time's a charm right nope that's not gonna stay well i think my thing's actually broken so it's not really stable on there or anything like that but we got her on there we're gonna take our seasoning right here we got the cosmos dry rub spg salt pepper garlic it's gonna open this son of a gun up I'm going to give a little dangle on there, just like that. I'm going to open this up and actually season it too. Get a little bit in there, a little bit on this side. I'm going to put it back on the burner. This is great for the ice fishing rod case, I heard. All right, she's all seasoned up now. We're just going to let it sit on here. So again, it's not sitting very perfect. I think that's because I broke that top piece a while ago. So it's not sitting the best, but I think she should cook here pretty soon. All right, so since this thing is pretty tippy and um, I gotta like really pay attention to it, I'm gonna put the camera down. This thing is just gonna sit on here for probably about eh, three minutes each side or so, something like that. The burner's acting up, so I gotta really pay attention to detail. I'll see you guys when it's done cooking. All right, homies, she's, I don't know. This thing was really tough to cook on. I got most of it done. I, I just get an impatient, it's kinda cold. Oh yeah, it's done. Look at that, folks. That looks delicious, not gonna lie. I'm gonna take a little bit of this right here. Oh yeah, you look inside there, looking nice. Nice and just how we like it, dude. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna take this off the bones. That's a good looking chunk of meat right there. We're gonna go in right here. Here we go, boys. A few bones, hold up. Wow. Minus the bones, that slaps, dude. That is so fresh. Oh my goodness, that tastes really good. Mm, nothing better than trout, dude. That's so good. Just a little salt, pepper, garlic on there. Super easy recipe, man. You could go try hard and even make that better with lemons and, you know, tin foil and stuff. But for just throwing it on there, catching it, putting it on the propane grill, I'd say it's pretty gosh darn good. Daisy, you got to try something for me. All right. Got a little piece of trout right here. We're, this is the true taste test. If my guy Daisy thinks it's good, then it's obviously amazing. Oh. What do you think, bud? Huh? What do you, was that good? You you want more already? Look at her. That face says, "Hey, give me some more, man." Well, that trout was absolutely delicious. I just got done eating it. It was a little bit tough to cook just because I looked and I parked at a slant, so my truck was like this, and basically trying to put anything level on there was not going to happen. So that's why I had stuff flying everywhere, and it was it was a little tough to cook on that butane burner. But we got the job done, and it tasted amazing. I liked it, and Daisy liked it. Sammy even came down and tried it, and he said it was. Mm. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of like a quick one and done video. I didn't really talk that much, but some of these videos got to be short and sweet and crisp. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Today was a little bit different of a video than we usually do. Normally we go walleye fishing or clap crows. I thought, hey, let's mix in a rainbow trout video. And I thought it turned out pretty good. If you guys want to see more rainbow trout videos, drop a comment down below. If you guys want to see me do more trout videos, drop a comment down below and let me know because I could actually go and make some really cool videos where I go in some remote place and go camping and fly fishing for them, which would be super cool like in the mountains or something like that. So if you guys want to see something like that, drop a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>